welcome, 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 guys. Hey, welcome back to another episode of Let's Speak It Out Loud. I am your host, Goddess Candace the Alicorn, and it is my honor and my pleasure to be here with you this afternoon, evening, or wherever you are in the world. Welcome, 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 guys. And if this is your first time, welcome, and thank you for joining and tuning in. And if you are a regular listener, you know what time it is, y'all, so let's get busy. Welcome, guys. I hope everybody's feeling well today, because I'm in a great mood, as usual. Um, because no weapon formed against me can prosper. And if I was seen this morning instead of being viewed, I feel really, really good. So I hope everybody out there is doing well today. I hope you're feeling good, and I hope you're doing well, and I hope you know you can do it, and I hope you know you are worthy, and I hope you know that you are worth it, okay? All right, y'all. So, let's get down to business. I want to thank every single person who has donated to this podcast. Once again, guys, I appreciate you, and I love you so very, very, very much. After all, The donations are what keep this podcast going and keep this platform flourishing and growing, okay? So I appreciate you. And if you would like to donate to the podcast, guys, the information is listed in the description down at the bottom. Uh, Contact information as well if you want to reach out to me, okay? So, thank you, Most High Creator, for blessing everyone who is listening to be here with me today. Most High Creator, use me as a vessel to bless me, bless me to touch their heart, to touch their soul, to uplift them. And if they're down today, use me as a vessel to bring words of inspiration, words of upliftment, words of can do itness into their body, their mind, and their soul, and their spirit. I thank you, Ancestor Spirit Guides guardian angels and the most high creator for just blessing me to be with all these beautiful people so guys let's get into it okay now remember guys we're working on this series talking about our chakras and healing our chakras and how do we build our chakras now remember we've gone through this so far We are now on our fifth chakra, which is the throat chakra. We've already done the root or base chakra, the sacral chakra, the solar plexus chakra, the heart chakra, and now we're on the throat chakra, and we got two more to go after this, okay? So guys, the throat chakra, your fifth chakra, the color is blue, you know? And it's the throat area. That's where the location of the chakra is. That throat chakra or your fifth chakra, it regulates your thyroid, your throat, your mouth, your teeth, your jaw, your neck and your ears and your arms, your bronchial tubes, you know, your upper lungs, your shoulders and your tongue, you know. It's associated with communication, willpower, truthfulness, setting boundaries, and expression, okay? That's one of the things about the throat chakra that you can definitely identify, one of the easier ones to identify, even if you don't know much about chakras, when someone's throat chakra is out of alignment or out of balance. When someone's throat chakra is out of balance, they talk immediately about themselves in negative ways. Soon as you meet them, oh, girl, you look good. Oh, I'm so fat, I don't know what to do. No, no, no. Girl, your hair looks great. Well, I wish I wasn't bald-headed. This ain't my hair. You talk down about yourself when your throat chakra is out of alignment. You know, negative talk all the time. Bickering. Gossiping. You got poor listening skills and inabilities to keep secrets. You know, you speak too much or inappropriately. You're not able to listen to other people. You tell a lot of lies when that throat chakra is out of alignment. You can 
have excessive shyness or secretiveness. You have an inability to express your thoughts. You got a real fear of speaking. And your skin is soft. And what I mean by that is, throughout life and through experiences, your skin toughens up. But your skin is real soft when your throat chakra is out of alignment. You deal with a lot of social anxiety. You're stubborn as hell. A lot of stubbornness. And detached. You're envious and intimidated by people with confidence. You're a hater. When your throat chakra is not in alignment, you're easily a hater. Because you become intimidated by people with confidence. And then you circle right back around. Negative talks about yourself bickering and gossiping. Oh, she thinks she's better than me. Oh, look at her. Why she doing that? Look at him. Why he doing that? Stop worrying about wild people doing stuff. Because you can do it yourself. So that fifth chakra, that throat chakra, it deals with all that communication and willpower and truthfulness. Truthfulness. You know, a lot of people will tell you, huh, Candace, give it to you straight, no chaser. Truthfulness. I told y'all I didn't smoke too much weed back in the day, and I'm on these gummies now that I can't be remembering all them types of things, so it's best to just tell the truth right then and there. I'm living my life out loud. I'm speaking it out loud, and I'm sharing it with you guys. There'll never be anybody who can tell on me or blackmail me. You know why? Because the truthful and transparency of myself, I'm not ashamed of the experiences I've had in my life, and I speak them all. So if you ever want to know anything about me, just ask me. I tell everybody that. Just ask me. You may not like the answer, but if you want to know the truth, come ask me. Because I fear no man. Fuck fear. You know? So, with the fifth chakra, also... The throat chakra. Its crystal is the lapis lazuli. I carry one all the time. And I have a hand-carved lapis lazuli stone in a ring that I wear on my hand. It's a very intricate, you know, carving. And it's beautiful. I don't know how the person did it, but they did the beautiful work. You know, with the throat chakra, it's about expression and communication both verbal and nonverbal, okay? Some mystics believe that the throat chakra is responsible for your telepathic abilities that are associated with picking up on other people's thoughts. You know. Or you may be experiencing the abilities when you know that the phone is about to ring before it does. Or when you know who is on the phone before you answer a call. From an energy view- viewpoint, This kind of telepathy is possible because every living thing is connected by the energy that flows through your chakra. When the throat chakra is in balance, we're considerate and thoughtful with everything, especially with our communications with other people. And we are definitely aware of how they affect those around us. See, Let me break it down a little more if y'all don't understand what I'm saying. So when that throat chakra is in balance, you're aware of all your surroundings and the people who are around you. You're aware of how you communicate and how it will be perceived. How the intention is. You know, we're able to express our needs and our desires and maintain our personal integrity with our communications. To speak our truth without being hurtful to others. But then, too, when the throat chakra is out of balance, we're likely to be, like I said, overly talkative and to speak about nothing in particular. You know, when you're in this state, it's very difficult for us to listen to other people and people around us. They're likely to ignore you. They won't listen to you very long. That's when your throat chakra energy is depleted. You know. You're, you're very likely to be unclear with your messages and your nonverbal communications when your throat chakra is blocked or out of alignment or out of balance. You know, they're all the same terms. They all mean the same thing we're referring to. 
blocked, nothing going through, out of balance, off kilter, you know, it's all the same thing. And once again, the throat chakra, which is your fifth chakra, the color is blue, and it's represented by a lotus of 16 petals. Okay? So, the thing about the fifth chakra, like I say, it, it teaches you definitely communication and creative expression and the effectiveness of communication. You know, the effectiveness of communication. When you are misaligned as well, you, you have fear of speaking. Your skin, like I say, is real soft. It's not tough. And you're envious and you're intimidated by people with confidence. And then you go back to the gossiping. You know, to communicate effectively, guys, we need to be empathetic. To be able to really listen to what another person is saying and to try to understand it from their perspective. You know, we can't be empathetic if while we're listening, we're also filtering what is being said through our own prejudices and inadequacies and fears. I'm saying it again. We can't be empathetic if we're listening to people and filtering everything they say through our own prejudices and inadequacies, and our own fears. Effective communication, it also involves being able to express ourselves without seeking the approval or agreement of the person that we're speaking with. We need to be able to speak our truth without requiring a particular reaction or response in order to feel acceptable. I'm going to say that again because I know some people like this because this was me at one point. We need to be able to speak our truth without requiring a particular reaction or response in order to feel acceptable. When your root chakra is, excuse me, when your um, throat chakra is off, you look for other people's opinions of you. You look for their opinions of you to see if you're acceptable or not. If this chakra is out of balance, others may see, see you as arrogant and self-righteous, allowing little space for opinions or other views. Depleted energy in this throat area it may mean that we find it difficult to express ourselves and make ourselves understood. Balance in the throat chakra means that we're able to hear and be heard without past emotional hurts or current fears and feelings of shame. Okay? We don't need feelings of shame affecting what we say and what we hear. When you align your chakras, no matter what seven it is, guys, the emotional part leaves out of it. Because, see, the emotional part makes us react. I'm going to get that motherfucker. But the spiritual part of us makes us respond. Look at it all like a movie. Your, your life, look at it like a movie. Some shit that happens in our life is funny as hell to us. Speak the truth about it and let's speak it out loud. You think back on, that was some dumb ass shit and you just sit there and crack up. Speak the truth and speak it out loud. Okay? You know, the creative expression of the throat chakra, one of the mantras that I also use Y'all know I'm going to give y'all my mantras now because I want y'all to feel good. It's about your creative expression. I am committed to sharing and receiving my thoughts and feelings by being creative in my communication style and using expressive language. I express myself through talking, singing, laughing, and crying, and through using my creative talents. I consciously use my senses to experience my world more fully. I see, hear, smell, and feel more. 
and I become more aware of my surroundings, such as the weather, aromas, people, nature, sounds, and sights. That's what I was saying, guys. We have to be aware of our surroundings. We have to be aware of what's surrounding us. You know, we have to be aware. When, another thing, you know, with our throat chakra, physical ailments happen. When if you start feeling sore throats and neck sti- stiffness and pains and headaches and start having dental issues and mouth ulcers and thyroid problems and earaches. Now, I'm not a medical doctor. Let me please say that. And you got to put this disclaimer in on anything, whether it's a video or whatever. Please seek your doctor. Okay? I am not a medical doctor. However, I am a light worker. And for not putting anything in your body or anything like that, when you meditate and you focus on your chakras, a lot of these ailments will dissipate. Don't believe me, just try it. Okay? Don't believe me, just try it. Especially within meditation. You can use food and crystals, gemstones, yoga poses, tai chi poses, chanting for healing of your chakras. You know? And just remember, guys, you can't have a blessing without a lesson. Okay? Express your feelings. That's another thing that this chakra is about. Expressing your feelings. You know? I allow my emotions to be fully experienced. I acknowledge feelings of grief, anger, or fear. And I make a conscious effort to express my emotions or resolve them within myself so that I can move forward freely. I let the unconditional love experienced in my heart be expressed through my voice and my creativity. I let those close to me know how much I love and care for them. Huh. I forgive all those who have done me wrong in the past, as well as forgiving myself, as I could not have responded in a more evolved way than I was able to at that time. You understand? I told you that with your other chakras. You can only respond in the way or on the vibration that you've evolved to. So if you're on your lowest vibration, you're going to respond like a madman, which is basically reacting. Okay? So I need you to understand that about that throat chakra. You know, there's all kind of exercises um, for the throat chakra. You know, you can do a self-massage of the neck area with a small amount of of oil or lotion, whatever feels better. You can sit on the floor in a chair or lie on your back on the floor with your knees bent and your feet flat to the floor. You know, you can do kneading movements with inside that neck area, that throat area. And drink your teas, guys. For this throat chakra, drink your tea. Drink your teas. The teas will always help that throat chakra. Okay? And you have to understand, guys, with the throat chakra as well, it's all about truthfulness. And being truthful with who? Yourself. I am truthful and honest with myself. I aim to overcome any fears about speaking my truth. I speak in a loving, considerate way. Let's go back here. Truthfulness. This is part of one of my mantras. These are the things I say to myself daily to try to keep myself in alignment because we experience a lot of things from the time we open our eyes during the morning or whatever time you get up in between the time you close them and go back to sleep. And you experience even more from the time you close your eyes and go to sleep to the time you wake up in that different dimension and dream state. So with this truthfulness of the throat chakra, I am truthful and honest with myself. Because people who are assholes, they know that they're assholes, y'all. 
And people who grimy and grubby and this and that, they know that. You just the one shocked when they do it to you. But they know that. Call them out. Miss Ayanla Van Zant. Call a thing a thing, beloved. Call a thing a thing. Call them out. Speak it. Speak it. Use that throat chakra. I am truthful and honest with myself. I aim to overcome any fears about speaking my truth. And I speak in a loving, considerate way. My personal empowerment comes from telling the truth and letting others know who I am. Bing. Others will be positively uplifted when they hear my truth. And I take care not to exaggerate in order to impress them. I am careful not to let my mind mislead me. And in turn, others. I avoid gossiping or speaking negatively of others. Okay? Understand this, y'all. My personal empowerment comes from telling the truth and letting others know who I am. You understand me? You want, didn't I just tell you, you want to know who I am? Ask me. I speak my truth. I speak it out loud. That's how the name of this podcast came. Because uh, uh, I'm a Virgo and people be hating on us because we're brilliant at everything we put our hands on. We're brilliant at that. And I'm not ashamed to say that because we are. Any field that we go into, we're brilliant. Now, do we want to do it or not? No, we want a paycheck. But we're brilliant because we're the creators. But we're also the judges of the Zodiac. Doesn't mean 100 years in jail, judge. It's we're the differentiators. We can differentiate between different energies. Positive energy, negative energy. We can see through things. A lot of times, the reason Virgos don't let y'all in because we can already feel your energy. And we don't have to cuss you out and tell you nothing about yourself. We just will get away from you. We just won't be around you. I'll be just as sociable. Yes, mm mm-hmm, have a great time. Won't talk about anything personal and get the hell on down. Okay? That's exactly how that works. Setting boundaries. I teach others how to love and respect me by how I love and respect myself. My integrity is important when I express my thoughts and feelings. I am aware of excessively wanting to please others. I will maintain and grow my personal power by saying yes when I mean yes and saying no when I want to say no. I speak up for myself and I set boundaries regarding other people's behavior. I do this by asking for what I do want, such as respect, patience, tolerance, and support, rather than telling them what I don't want. Bing. Y'all remember, and I'll keep pointing back to my other podcast that I did, Boundaries. Every chakra has boundaries. Throat chakra. Bing. I speak up for myself, and I set boundaries regarding other people's behavior. That's just what I was saying. I'd never disrespect you. I'll never disrespect you. Now, if you come over here, don't get it twisted. Don't think I'm just like lollipop rainbows because I'm an alicorn and, and, and roses and shit. If you come over here, I got something for your ass. Because I'm not that one to be bothering people. I don't backbite people. I don't do none of that shit. I'll tell you the truth and have you be mad at me. Whether than lie to you and be smiling in your fucking face. I ain't got time for that. I don't like people like that. Which means I, I can't be that type of person. Alright? So, but I, I, my boundary is I can meet with you. We can have a great time. And I'm out. That's my boundary. You know, and when your root chakra is in, a, I keep saying root chakra, when your throat chakra is in alignment, guys, your willpower and determination elevates. When, when, when you are in alignment, your willpower and your determination, it will elevate. And there's mantras for that as well. I set clear boundaries for my own behavior and I cultivate a strong will by being true to myself. I use my willpower to accomplish my daily tasks and spiritual goals and to encourage uplifting thoughts and behaviors within myself. 
Doing this will assist me on the next stage of my physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual growth. I stay in touch with my positive thoughts and truth by avoiding substance abuse. My will is strong and my mind is clear. You better get it. You better get it. So, with your throat chakra, guys, your fifth chakra, it's all about expression. It's all about expression. It's all about speaking your truth. It's all about being clear. It's all about confidence. It's all about willpower. It's all about being um, truthful and transparent. It's all about setting boundaries. It's all about creative energy, you know? When you focus on that throat chakra, your goal is to listen to the words of those around you. Start paying attention to everybody's body language and the tone of voice so that you really hear what they're saying. Allow a pause between listening and speaking yourself to ensure that the other person has finished what they needed to say before you speak. Respond to each person by openly and honestly expressing yourself. You know? In practice, it means just setting aside some chit-chat and being more conscious of what you're saying. It's kind of more, this is kind of more challenging than it really sounds. Because you're consciously thinking about it, taking a breath and a pause between listening and before you speak, if you're in a conversation with someone, because you're actively listening. The throat chakra has a lot to do with actively listening versus hearing. You know, that's what I teach my students all the time. You have to actively listen when you're talking to the customer on the phone. Because not only will you hear what they need, but you'll also Hear what they don't say if you're actively listening, okay? After you've gone through just trying this, you'll find yourself listening without even thinking about it. You'll be expressing yourself and listening in a newfound way without even thinking about it. It'll just happen, okay? Okay? It had just happened. Now, remember I just said a while back that with your throat chakra and all the chakras, you can do several different things um, to unblock that chakra, to build that energy, um, like breathing and vis visualization. You know, you could do fire breaths. If you don't know what fire breaths are, you can look it up, but they're real fast breaths <laughs> while you're meditating. So you can do fire breaths. They'll make you lightheaded and visualize your chakra and where it's located. So if you're if you're channeling your throat chakra, you're going to visualize blue or lapis lazuli around that throat area or your thyroid or your mouth or your teeth or jaw or your shoulders or tongue, you know, whichever area. But if you're working on that throat chakra and you're going to visualize what it is, you know, what you're breathing to create a balance in your energy system. You know, you can add color there as well um, to connect with spirit. And once you get there to connect with spirit, like I say, with breathing and visualization and, and chanting and yoga and Tai Chi, which I happen to love, and, and, and your crystals and, you know, different foods are for healing as well for your chakras. Look those up too. Look those up too. Because that throat chakra is about also connecting and speaking with spirit. Connecting and speaking with spirit. I develop a quiet mind that allows me to tune in and get in touch with my higher self or my spirit. I listen for guidance that is there waiting for me to hear. I'm open to the truth. And I welcome spiritual inspiration from others. I will benefit greatly by practicing meditation and stillness. 
I ask for inner guidance to assist me in getting more in touch with my spirit. I know that if I ask for guidance, it will be given. Bam. That's the key, guys. You won't get it unless you ask for it. I don't care what chakra you're working on. You won't get it unless you ask for it. Okay? So, to understand, once again, your fifth chakra, your throat chakra, it's about communication, willpower, truthfulness, setting boundaries and expression, and really, let's speak it out loud is what it's about. When you're balanced, and these are the things you want to work on, it's about, you know, your own willpower and speaking without worries or fear of someone liking it or not, if you're speaking truth. You know the effective communication once again. You're not requiring anyone to give you a particular reaction or a response. You don't need that to feel accepted. You know, there's sometimes people tell you things because they want your approval or your acceptance. Well, when your throat chakra is in alignment, that social anxiety and that fear and all of that is not there. It's not there. And some of the chakras come a lot more easier to one being than it does another. Because for me, I was that person too. my throat chakra when I was younger. I was scared to speak up. You know, I was bullied a lot because I was the fat kid, you know, in Flint, Michigan. And I was bullied. I knew how to cuss people out, though. But I wasn't going to fight nobody or this and that. I, I was bullied a lot. My self-esteem was really, really low. You know, my brother used to tease me, this and that. And that, that. And girls are bitches in school. From middle school to graduation, girls are bitches. Y'all talk about boys, but any female who is listening, y'all know girls are some nasty bitches when they in school. Petty little bitches. And they still that way when you go to your 10-year reunion, your 20 and your 30-year reunion, okay? <laughs> but, you know, I was afraid to speak up for myself and I would let people say anything about me and I would, you know, walk over, let people walk over me and stuff like that. And my confidence was very low. And then I stood up for myself one day. And after that, it was on. Bitch, not only will you not talk to me that way, let me give you 90 cuss words, not two, to take back with you. <laughs> you know, and I wasn't afraid to speak up for myself or speak my truth. You know, I wasn't afraid of any of that anymore. Like I say, you can't have a blessing without a lesson. And my lesson was I'm worthy. And that's what I've been teaching people for almost 30 years. You are worthy. You are worthy. Don't you let some job, some man, some woman, some dog, some cat, some church, some pastor, some parent, some brother, some sister, some husband, some wife, some bitch you don't even know. Don't you let none of the motherfuckers tell you or make you feel as if you're not worthy. Don't you accept that ever. You are worthy. You know, you have to go through some things to learn some things. You have to experience some things to learn some things. Once again, we are spiritual beings having a human experience, okay? And you can't have a blessing without a lesson. You understand? But you got to learn from the lesson to get the blessing. You can't keep having the same lesson over and over and over and over and over again and you keep flunking the same damn test over and over and over and over and over again because it's going to move on to the next entity or spirit that can take your place for what needs to be done because you're continuing to stay in the cesspool of self-hatred. That's the best way I can put it, self-hatred. And with those people who mean you no good, there are people who mean you no good. That's why I say show them something different. There's people right now. I'm showing them something different because they think I'm the same person I was 25, 30 years ago. You know, when I was in college or when I was in high school. Bitch, please. Cut off game strong. Snip, snip. And some people just don't want to see other people happy. 
You know, their chakras are going to always be out of alignment because their job is to stay out of alignment, to distract you from what your job is that you came here to do, to distract you from your greatness. Some people don't mind being mediocre, but those mediocre people get on your damn nerves because when greatness is in you and you know it's there and you're achieving your greatness, the mediocre people are always coming around trying to lay snares, traps, talking trash, talking shit. Well, listen, you can say whatever the hell you want to say about me. You can gossip about me. You can do whatever you want to do about me, okay? I don't care. (laughs) All I'm going to tell you is watch my smoke. And then you can hate on me or whatever, you know, but that's your throat chakra. And when people are in alignment, when you throw venom at them, it just, it doesn't even hit them. It hits you tenfold. It hits you tenfold, and that's karma. Karma's real. So you people who are out there doing things to people, I suggest you get your chakras in alignment because all that lying with your throat chakra being out of balance, all that backbiting and bickering and negative talk about yourself and everybody else and gossiping and poor listening skills and just literally, you know, your inability to be decent. Being envious, being intimidated by people with confidence, just being a plain hater. Karma is not just a word. Okay? I need you light workers and you people who are trying to align yourself and make yourself better. I need you to take center stage in your life. Take center stage in your life. Raise your head and keep it moving, all right? Hey, all right, y'all. So that's all I got for you today for the throat chakra. Look the throat chakra up, okay? I want you to study these things because I want you to be the best you that you can be. And I want to continue to be that vessel for you, to uplift you, to bring you truth, to tell you this is what it is. I can only be me. What you see is what you get. And I want you to be that way as well. Don't apologize for being you. Don't apologize for being positive. Don't apologize for wanting to be better tomorrow than you are today. And even better than you were the day before yesterday. Don't you apologize to anybody for that. Don't apologize to sorry ass motherfuckers who sitting on their ass and not trying to do shit. But tell you what you need to be doing. Okay? Don't apologize. Ignore them. Because when you ignore people, it drives them crazy. Let me tell y'all something. I just went on a blocking frenzy on my social media. Blocking, blocking, blocking. Blocking. You're blocked. Why? I don't have time for your energy. You know? People are just on there and discussing you and this and that. Don't discuss me. Unless you're trying to grow with me. Unless you're trying to rise with me. But don't be trying to come in when you're a demon because I can see you coming a mile away. And I won't even say anything. You just look up and won't see me. You you won't have access to me. Okay? So I want y'all to give two fucks about people saying anything about you. I don't want y'all to give two fucks about it. People saying anything about you or people who have apparently nothing to do with to be in your business because they ain't got none don't listen to them either surround yourself with people who are going to uplift you surround yourself with people who will activate those chakras around you your chakras will start ringing like bells when people are around you that are in that positive energy and the positive vibration that you are in okay all right y'all I love y'all. I love y'all so very much. I appreciate each and every one of you. And let me tell you something. If no one has told you today, you are doing extremely well today. You are wonderful. You are worthy. And you deserve the best that you can imagine and dream. Okay, guys? I love you once again. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you to the end of time. Peace and blessings to each and every one of you, family. Have a wonderful evening. Talk to you soon. Peace.